Hello, hello everybody. Randy here with We Crafty Creations. And today we are going to actually do an entire listing from start to finish. And we're going to start in the new beta dashboard for Go Imagine and see how that goes. So let's uh, dive right in and see if we hit any glitches, if we have any issues, and uh, what our limitations are for this, and uh, see how quickly we can make this listing. I've already decided what listing I'm going to put in here to start, and I know where my photos are for it and everything, so that should make it a little bit uh, faster. Uh, generally, when I go to put the title in, I do a little bit of uh, keyword research in advance, but for this, I'm just going to uh, type what it is and kind of keep things a little bit more simple, and then I can always go back later and adjust things a little bit. And if y'all haven't seen what a book buddy is yet, I wish I would have had one up here with me and I could have shown it on the screen, but you'll see it in the photos and everything. Um, but it's basically a uh, a little item. It, it can be wood, it can be resin, it can be different materials. And uh, you, you stick it in the book and you put your thumb through a hole and you, it kind of helps you hold the page so you can walk around with a book. Um, really great for like recipe books or something that where you're kind of multitasking and you want to hold the book, but you also want to do something else at the same time. So that's um, what I'm going to put there. And then let's see if we have bookmarks in here. Yeah, bookmarks are generally... Um, what these kinds of things go over, but there's also book accessories. So these are the marketplace categories that Go Imagine already has set up. Yeah, it's turning red, maximum two categories. It's really nice when you do something wrong on here, generally it turns red and lets you know that it's wrong. Um, and I believe I already have, um, yeah, book page holders and bookmarks I have listed here as a category within my shop. I currently don't have any of these in my shop. I don't even know how that happened because I've been selling the book buddies for a while and I really uh, love them. They're, they're really great. Uh, as far as the description, so I'm going to try to go into Etsy and um, probably have to cut some of this out because it'll show things that I don't want it to show. Uh, but I'm going to steal my description from there. So it looks like all of my uh, listings for the book buddies give options for the different uh, shapes that I have. So I have a heart shape and then I have another shape that I call classic. And they have all these variants in here for the different shapes. So um, I'm just going to take this description, but I'm going to have to change something with it. I thought maybe one of them didn't have that, but they all do in here. Which is something um, that I'm kind of playing around with. I, I'm kind of playing around with looking at the idea of people getting too many options and what, you know, how that might affect their, their decision making and, and kind of limiting the options and see how that goes. So I'm just uh, pasting this over here. It doesn't come over with quite the same look to it. So there'll be a few things that I have to do, but to start with, I'm getting rid of the classic shape, getting rid of the heart shape. There's a spelling error there. It says here shapes. I need to go back into Etsy and make sure to fix that and fix that for everything going forward. Um, and then I'll, you know, I'll do some some stuff later to make this look a little bit nicer. Uh, and then here, see, it says you have three choices for your style. Oh, that's not true. Yeah, uh, this, I've got a Chrome extension on here, Grammarly, so it's telling me which of these words and sentences uh, seem stupid. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm don't necessarily have to change everything I see on here, but it is something to look at. And something I have at the bottom of each of my Etsy listings says looking for something a little different, check out more and this. So this is not, not okay. Obviously cannot have that on go imagine. So then I can just change it to go imagine.com slash we crafty creations. Let me make sure I change that because it was in here wrong. So go imagine.com slash we crafty creation. So we don't want to be sending people back to Etsy. That's definitely not what we want. So got that fixed. Currently the status is hidden. We'll leave that there until I'm ready to go. Then the search tag. Something new I found out with these search tags the other day is it says you can have 20 tags and when you go and start typing words in here, once you get past 25, it pops up an error, or 20, um, it pops up an error and says you've got too many characters. But also if you were to 
keep going with long tail keywords that are that are pretty long uh, once you get past 255 total characters it cuts you off there too so uh, there's multiple ways that you can have too much going on here so don't get carried away with trying to fill in every single uh, tag with 20 characters because you'll run out of space uh, because 20 characters times 20 tags would be a total of 400 uh, characters in here and the limit is 255 total. So um, I'm just going to add a couple right now. Just do that for now. Um, there's there's definitely more um, bat book buddy. The bats are by far the most popular um, of the different different shapes that I have by, by far. So here are some of the pictures I have of my book buddies. I can just uh, grab a couple here, try to do it this way. I'm not usually a drag and drop kind of person. We'll see what happens with that. That was pretty fast. That seems like a bit faster than it normally is for a uh, for go imagine it's just me kind of working quickly on this but so i've added a few really good pictures in there so this might be the first glitch that we're running into with using this new dashboard um i know that when i i know that when i'm recording my screen things to tend to go a little bit slower so that might be the issue i'm just going to put one in here right now i have more than one but i actually want to go double check and then from how it's made, I can go back up to my description and see if I've got some information in here that, that I can add um, to it. So I have this little sentence here of, um, these are created with reclaimed wood and finished with Danish oil for a lovely smell. Um, I do have some that are available and uh, painted, so I need to add that, that I paint, can paint them as well. So I'll fix that later. I also somehow don't have the picture of them being made in here, which is pretty important, especially for um, Go Imagine. But I think I maxed out my pictures. So and there never used to be a maximum number of pictures, and now there is. So I've actually got duplicates here that I didn't realize I had. So let me take away that duplicate. That's literally the same exact picture. It's not deleting that picture easily for me. I'm scared that I'm gonna just go and accidentally delete a bunch of them. So let me leave that for now. I do have a picture, oh, it's like I don't see it, right here of them actually being cut out with the CNC machine. So I want to add that into my photos, but it's not letting me right now. So we're just going to pass that for now. We can always add that later. How it's made is super short. I'll fix that later, but. You know, this isn't being um, listed. Now, adding options. The, the option that I have is the size of the hole that your thumb goes through. So we're just going to put size. Um, and then maybe we'll put um, hole. I don't know. It just comes across. Sounds kind of weird. but. Um, and then internal name, I'm going to put whole size because I'm going to know exactly what that means when I go to do it. And the position doesn't really matter because I'm not going to have a bunch of different options for this one. Actually, I'm going to have color options, but the size is more important than anything. So we'll keep the position as one. Um, and then there's going to be a drop down box. So the options are drop down box, text or file, so we'll leave it here as drop down box, and it is required, I need to know what size they want. Um, that's really important. And then if I and then if I was smart, I would have gone over here and grabbed this description of the, the size holes, and then go back to that option and edit it. And then in the description, it's pretty clear. Um, most adults fit this size fine. Okay. 
I could put this somewhere else to kind of help describe it. You know, the smallest one is more for kids or women with really small hands. The 0.8 is kind of for almost everybody. And then the one inch is for a man with a really big thumb. <laughs> so, and then we go to add variant here to add the different sizes. So then we can say 0.7 inch pole. And the prices aren't going to be different for each one. And then we need to add another one. 0.8 inch pole. And then add another one. One inch pole. And I don't even have a lot of the smallest and largest sizes. I'm sold out of them sometimes, but um, at least at least I have them as so people know that they are possibly an option. Um, I'm not going to change the prices for the different sizes. The prices are the same regardless. Um, I, in general, would like to um, do the quantity available based on the size, but I don't see that option in here. I think that might be not available in this uh, new beta dashboard, but we'll look into that. So update option. I'm doing free shipping currently. I'm thinking about changing that, but at this time I'm doing free shipping. One of these is no more than four ounces. Four ounces is pretty much the smallest uh, size that that the shipping ever, that's the cheapest shipping. So just leave it at four ounces. So I already have, it, it somehow remembers this and I already have this information somewhere else. I don't know why it needs it again, but boom, we'll put it right there. Maybe I don't have that information somewhere else. I don't, Never mind. Um, so yeah, that's where that goes. And there's a very small number of um, characters allowed for this shipping note. 75 characters doesn't sound like very small, but I had a slightly longer sentence here and I had to cut it and make this new one. Um, I don't like it as much, but that's my only choice. And then these advanced features for the SEO is really not a big deal from what I understand. And if you leave this blank, um, they will take your product name and description from above, and they will add that into here. So you don't you don't have to do that. It's 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 completely optional. Quantity discounts. I like quantity discounts. I will offer that, but I'm going to leave that blank for now. And then what is optional setting? It doesn't say anything. Okay. They do have they do have quantity discounts in here um, for you to add, but they don't have optional setting. So we'll go into those details more in a future video, but let me go ahead and hit save and we'll see if this saves us as a new product without any problems. I did find that I kept hitting save on one of them and nothing would happen and I didn't know why. And then I scrolled through here and somewhere in here there was something that was red that said that it was beyond the character limit. Um, I don't see that right now and it's it's still thinking, so my internet is slow. All right, so it was taking forever to load, and then it came out with a, an error here. Incre incorrect string value for column full description at row one. Um, so something in the description that they don't like. I'm guessing it's this bat shape thing, this little emoji. So I'm going to delete that emoji and try again. Fingers crossed that's all it was, and it wasn't like something bigger. Okay, so it took a minute, but the item is now showing up on here. Um, it still shows hidden, but if I take a look at this, I think I could still at least see what it would look like. No, it just takes me to edit it. I think. Yeah, it's not going to show me what it looks like until I make it active. Um, I don't see any harm in making it active real quick. The only thing that I have in here that I want to change is just adding some more detail and then um, figuring out quantity that I have available but since it just has one and you know it's just basically showing it only comes without without the paint I mean, you can clearly see it comes in other colors but we'll figure that out later so I'm just gonna make it active just so I can see the finished product and how it looks on go imagine active now we should be able to view it so the view button doesn't seem to be working. The view button takes me back to this, which is not really, I mean, it's not really viewing it the way that I thought it was going to show, but that's fine. So instead we can go here to the marketplace. For some reason, neither of those things are working. So we're just going to go to goimagine.com slash we crafty creations. Boom, 
Okay, my site's there. That's good. <laughs> and then we'll look for products. And I'm guessing it automatically puts this as the last product in my catalog. And there it is. And the thumbnail looks pretty good. Um, it's a little off-centered, but, you know, it doesn't look bad at all. And we go here, and we can see what customers will see. So it does look like they can change the size um, and select which size they want with no problem. So that's good. The photos look good. I never did get to delete that duplicate photo. Um, I personally think when you're selling things on Go Imagine, it is very much key to show how the item is being made. Um, you know, Etsy has become a platform of just all sorts of random stuff for sale on there. Go Imagine is truly, truly handmade. So you want to make sure that you represent that and that you're very full disclosure on how you make everything. So uh, videos are great too. And I'm sure I have a video somewhere. So overall, this looks great. I did this using the new dashboard. Uh, if it wasn't for my kind of slow internet connection, my little bat emoji that I added in here, uh, this would have been a really, really fast process. I think I could have gotten this knocked out of the park in 10 minutes. Uh, that's with a description already being pre-written, the photos already being kind of optimized for, you know, the right size, all of that. So that's something to keep in mind, of course. Uh, but, but yeah, overall pretty easy. The only thing is, is that there are just a few things that aren't available for this new dashboard that I'm going to go back and edit with the other, um, the, the other program, the vendor.php. So that way I can, uh, you know, hopefully hone in on, on those details. So yeah, that was me just building a listing real quick in the new Go Imagine dashboard, uh, taking a look at uh, creating a new variation or a new option with variations from within that option. I guess is how we word that. And uh, next time we will get more in depth on some of those other categories. And I'm doing a lot of research right now. One thing I wanted to mention, I'm doing research on uh, keywords, putting them in just your title, putting them in your title and your tags and trying to figure out how Go Imagine is cataloging items. Um, I did add some keywords to one of my listings in the tags, and then I went and searched those keywords in Go Imagine, and they did not they did not come up. Um, I waited a couple hours and they still haven't come up. So I don't know how long it takes for that to be cataloged and for that to, to potentially uh, get your listing in that search term. So that's something I'm going to be doing a little more research on and or reaching out to go imagine um, before I reach out to them. I'm going to see if I can find that answer somewhere in an article. But if not, reach out to them and figure out what I can do to make sure that my items are getting cataloged correctly and that when people are searching for certain keywords that my item will be somewhere within that list and then hopefully be able to relay that information to everybody else on here or watching on YouTube. So this was a little bit of a longer video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you stuck this far, please make sure to give me a like. It really helps me out. And then also subscribe if you want to see more videos about Go Imagine. And, um, you know, check out my other videos and we'll have uh, more coming up soon. Thank you.